Hey guys, I wanted to do an FN gun collection video. I was looking through my collection and I kind of noticed, so every so often I notice patterns. Um, I don't buy guns based off of the brand or the manufacturer. I buy guns based off of their historical significance, their innovation, um, and just my interest in them. Um, but every so often I do see patterns like with HK, SIG, in this case, a FN, uh, Fabrique Nationale. So I'm just going to kind of give a brief overview of um, each of them. I'll explain why I was interested in buying them. Just show you some basic features and a little bit of shooting. Some of these guns I've done more detailed videos on or I will do some in the future. So this will just be a brief overview. So this is probably the oldest FN gun in my collection. This gun is clear. This is the FN model 1910. Designed by John Brownie. They call this the gun that started World War I. It was the gun used to assassinate the Archduke Ferdinand of Austria. Uh, I'm gonna talk more about this pistol in my World War I video. So, Please subscribe. I'll be dropping that out in the near future. Here's the safety on this one. The magazine release is a heel release. I believe this is about six or seven rounds. It's a blowback design. And I really enjoy shooting this. Now the caliber is 7.65 millimeter, which is the same as the 32 auto. I don't know if you can see the caliber here. Here's a safety. It's a grip safety. And then you also have a thumb safety. So you have two so it locks the slide there. So you have two forms of safety on this gun. But yeah, this gun is really very enjoyable to shoot, uh, very accurate, especially for these itty bitty sights. These are really tiny sights here. But uh, yeah, this gun is very accurate. I was very surprised. Looks like it might have some bush in here. Okay. But yeah, I really enjoy this gun. It's It was very hard to find. Um, the later models, there's some variations, I believe 1922, um, that are um, easier to find. Uh, this was extremely hard to find. Um, and even the magazine, I just wanted to order an extra magazine and that was very hard to find and expensive. So if you can find some at a decent price, the magazine or the gun, I would grab it. But it, yeah, this is a nice piece of history and a very fun shooter. So you get both. I also call this the assassination gun because it was involved in a lot of uh, assassinations. Um, I'll talk about that more in my World War One video. So this is the FN model 1910 designed by John Browning at Fabrique Nationale, FN. The next one, this is the FN57. Um, I was interested in buying this gun because a guy that I bought a safe from told me he just bought it and it was his dream gun. And he showed me the type of rounds. First of all, this gun is clear. He showed me the type of rounds uh, and it looked like rifle rounds. And I thought it was so cool so I had to get one of these. And also, I knew it was armor piercing. And you know, when people break into your home, sometimes they have armor. So sometimes you need something that's armor piercing. And the Black Fang 5.7 ammo is armor piercing. 
if you're thinking about using this for home defense. And yeah, you can get them uh, 20 round magazines of armor piercing black fang. Uh, it's a nice, a nice setup. And on this here, on the lower rail, I have a laser light bayonet on here. So let me take off the little, which I think is cool. Cause if you run out of ammo, you could still get them. So I just think this is a really nice setup. Uh, if you want to use this for home defense. Okay, here is the safety. So I engage it with my index finger and I hit fire with my thumb. Sights are decent on this. And it's really fun to shoot. This is a really fun gun to shoot, guys. Pretty accurate, very little recoil. Uh, it's fun to do mag dumps if you don't mind the expensive ammo. Um, but yeah, this is a very fun gun to shoot because I believe the velocity, the muzzle velocity on this is about uh, 2,300 uh, feet per second. Uh, so that's that round is moving really fast. Um, I actually get a lot of uh, attention when I go to the range with this. Um, people are like, what were you shooting? It was just flying. And I said, that's the FN 5.7. Okay, so highly recommend it. So this is the FNX 45 Tactical. Uh, this, this gun is just rich in features. I was interested in getting this... Um, gun because I just thought it was beautiful. I love the colors. The colors kind of remind me of the scar colors with the 50 uh, shades of FDE kind of situation going on. I thought it was beautiful. And then I put this uh, FDE Trizicon RMR on here um, that matches the lower receiver. Uh, and it's just, it's just beautiful to me. Sights are pretty nice. It's just rich in features. It has a thumb safety and a decocker. So if you have your hammer cocked, you can decock it. Obviously hammer fire. This gun is cleared. Clear. So yeah, controls are ambi. You have it on both sides, the release on both sides. You can, looks like you can probably move this takedown lever to the other side. So very nice ambi pistol here. You have a rail at the bottom, MOS cut out. It's a suppressor height sights. It's a beautiful gun. It's very smooth, um, but I had a lot of issues with it when I first took it out. I did think that I needed to come back and clean it. So I'll do a, a follow-up video of this gun and compare it to the HK45 um, after I've cleaned it um, and give it another try. But the first time I shot it, I had a lot of malfunctions, failure to feed, failure to extract. Um, I did buy this gun off of another gentleman, and I'm guessing he didn't really take care of it. Um, so I'm going to clean this up and do another video on it. So subscribe so you don't miss that coming up here. But yeah, very smooth gun. When I was able to shoot it, uh, it shot very, very smooth. Uh, when it did shoot, it was very, very smooth and pretty accurate for a 45. Uh, in addition to, um, it being a very beautiful gun, um, I heard that it was a really nice 45, and up until now, I had not shot a good 45. I didn't like shooting 45s in handguns. I liked shooting it in carbines, but not handguns. Um, but I heard that this, if you're gonna get a, shoot a 45, uh, this is probably one of the best to get. So that's another reason why I decided to buy this. Okay, but this is it, beautiful gun. People think that the grip is really aggressive. Um, 
They have different back straps that you can put on it. This one I think is pretty comfortable. Um, I feel like I have a good grip on it, a good hold on it if I have sweaty palms. Uh, so I actually really like the grip. All right, so this is the FNX 45 Tactical. All right, this is the FN509 Compact Tactical. Uh, this gun is clear. Clear, nothing in the chamber. All right, this also has a threaded barrel, um, which I put a compensator on here from PMM. Okay. I have a Vortex Viper MOS on here. Nice side picture. Um, yeah, you know, at first I thought this gun was pretty snappy. Um, I feel like the it's it's top heavy. Uh, this is kind of a compact grip, and it's kind of this is a, this is kind of a more of a subcompact grip and a compact slide. And I feel like it's very top heavy. Um, without the compensator, I thought it was very snappy. The compensator helps that uh, a bit. With the compensator, it shoots a lot flatter, less snappy. Uh, but it's still somewhat snappy, um, but not a bad shooter. It's just a little snappy and top heavy. So in my opinion, you get a lot of flip. Um, I actually prefer a longer grip with a shorter barrel um, or a shorter slide. Um, I just feel like you have better perch, better control but not a bad gun. I just think it re looks really nice. So I like the look of it more than I like shooting it. Um, and again, it's rich in, in features. You have your bottom rail, the threaded barrel. You can put your compensator on there or a silencer if you choose. Uh, you don't have a safety on this one. Okay. But you do have a Ambi magazine release. So that's cool. All right and an ambi slide release. Got your MOS cut out. Suppressor height night sights here. But yeah, very nice, uh, nice gun. If you wanna use it as a carry or a home defense, you can do either one. The FN 509 Compact Tactical. All right, we got the FN PS90. This gun is clear. Nothing in the chamber is clear. All right, I bought this gun, the FNP90, uh, because I had the FN57, and I thought this was a perfect uh, counterpart to it. So it would make a perfect couple, I thought. And I heard it was really fun to shoot. Um, now, to be honest, I, I usually like a like I, I'm a AK-47, an AK girl. I like uh, rounds with a little bit more power. Uh, but this is still fun to plink with. But I do get bored with it after a while. Um, there are some iron sights here that you could use. They're like right here. Then in the middle, you could use that one. At the end, there's another one. Now, if you want to use these, uh, then you can get a cheek well when you're shooting. Um, but if you try to use a red dot, which is actually more fun using the red dot, um, then you don't get a cheek well on it. So it's not as comfortable or to me ergonomic. But I thought th I think this is just a really cool looking space gun. Uh, and I think it's a nice, thing to have in your collection. So this is the FN PS90, which is the semi-auto version of the P90. And I like the history behind it. Uh, it was actually made to replace the MP5. I uh, never really did though, but that's what, that's why it was made. That was the purpose. 
FN PS90. All right. Now this is the FN 249S saw, which is the semi-auto version of the FN 249 saw. Squad automatic weapon. Uh, this is the paratrooper model because it has this stock here that extends. Belt fed. I just had to have one. Uh, when I saw that they were selling these kind of collector editions, I had to have one. Uh, this is an iconic military weapon, and for a civilian to be able to own this was just awesome to me. When these get dirty, they malfunction like nobody's business. You can see why the Marine Corps switched over to the M27. Uh, just because I don't, I'm not sure how reliable these were. I know I had so a lot of malfunctions just the dirtier it got um, So you have to keep it pretty clean and lubed up, but Yeah, super cool gun it, Last but not least is the FN scar 20 s I Got this because this is a uh, chambered in six and a half creed more I got this because I wanted a long range rifle and I just thought this was gorgeous. I was going in between the 308 and the six and a half Creedmoor. I heard that the six and a half Creedmoor is a flatter trajectory, uh, better for long range uh, with less recoil. So even if you want to kind of do uh, rapid fire, uh, you can easily do that because the rounds uh, do not have as much recoil compared to the 308. So that's why I ended up getting this in chambered in the six and a half cream more. So here you see here's the safety here. It's ambi as well. B uh I like that FN uh incorporates a lot of ambi controls. So I have a knife force scope on here. Very nice glass. The stock is adjustable with the cheek rest and a length of pull. It's a very, very nice uh, shooter. I really enjoy shooting it. I actually want to take it out more. I haven't had a chance to. See, I have a I believe this is a Magpul bipod on here. In the same FDE color. And there you have it, my FN gun collection video. I have to say, Belgians, they make very good, uh, they make very high quality weapons, very nice weapons. The look, the feel, very top notch. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe.